Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about the three mistakes that most beginners make when they are learning brush lettering. So I have my deluxe lettering kit in here which is great for beginners to use because it has everything you need to do brush lettering and hand lettering with your different sizes of brush pens plus fine liner, pencil and eraser which we'll be using. So the first mistake beginners make is they use blank paper. Please do not practice with blank paper. Use a grid pad or um, dot or lined, whatever it is, it should have lines uh, for your lettering to be um, guided by. So this is my grid pad. I also have a dot pad and a, here is the line pad in this collection. So this works with both large and small brush pans. It's super smooth paper. Now, if I'm using my grid pad, the other thing I want you to do is take the paper out of the pad. No matter what pad you're using, just use one or two sheets flat on the table. You want a flat surface for your arm to move across nicely. Now, even though this is a grid, this still isn't good enough for me for guidelines. I will take my pencil and a marker, or sorry, my ruler and a marker. I have a fine liner here, or you could use a pencil. And I will mark off the guidelines that I want for my letters. So for a large, I'm gonna use a large brush tip pen. And I will make this, uh, my guidelines, let's say four squares high. So let's say I'm gonna practice my X height will be four squares high. Um, and then I will add my other lines. So I will mark this whole sheet up with four squares high and go all the way across. Just like this. Okay, and then I know where my letters will be. If you're on blank paper, you have no idea um, where your letters, your stroke should touch the top and the bottom. So here's an example. If we're working with the lines, we can see, oh, I went below the line there. I'm touching the top and I'm touching the bottom. This is my uh, dream pen in lilac and I'm using the smaller side, uh, the smaller nib. So if I'm doing a B, I am going to go up, touch that line, come down, touch my baseline. So here it's my baseline and my waistline. Even if you don't know the terms, it doesn't matter. What you have to do is work with your guidelines so you can um, have very consistent strokes and letters. Okay, so use your guidelines, mark them clearly on whatever paper you're using. The next uh, mistake that most beginners make is about the release. So your release for pressure um, when you transition is usually too late. So if we zoom in, you're gonna look at the ABC. If we look at the bottom here, at the baseline, my stroke is the lightest, right? So right here, the lightest point. See that very fine stroke? And if we look up here, my downstroke, I am releasing pressure at about this point. On every, see it here? And let's look at my A here. See where I'm releasing pressure? At this point here. And I create that pressure triangle. What I find a lot of beginners do is they don't release pressure here. They just keep going. And I'll show you, I'll try to show you what that looks like. Even I do this on when, on a, on when I'm tired, okay? So let's do an E, for example. I'm gonna go up lightly, turn, push, and I'm not going to release. And I'm gonna do this, and I'm not going to have a nice thin upstroke and I'm going to have a bit of a mess here on the bottom. So those of you who are uh, beginners, pay attention to where you're releasing pressure and, and it, find that point about two thirds of the way down from the waistline 
and pay attention to it. So let's do another stroke. I'll do a U. That will be easier to see. I'm going to push, release, 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 tip on the bottom and come up. And then push, release, 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 tip on the bottom. You see that? Now I have two pressure triangles and I'm releasing at the same place. Another good test for this is to take another piece of paper, which I don't have. I use my pamphlet, cover this up and look for these pressure triangles. Let me just zoom out a bit. You see the pressure triangles? That's where you're releasing, should be releasing consistently. All right, so that is uh, the, one of the second big mistakes is not releasing and creating that messy transition. The last thing that, well, actually should have made this first, that beginners make a mistake doing is their grip on the pen. Where do you get grip a brush pen? You do not hold it near the, the nib here. You don't hold it back, you hold it further up on the barrel, at least this high. Look how high I am up on the barrel. And do not slide down to here. This puts too much pressure on your nib. So slide way back like this. And that way you get a nice angle for all of your strokes and all of your drills. You have the right angle like this. You're going to really damage your brush pen and you will uh, not get the appropriate angle to make these nice transitions. So hold it up high on the barrel. Even if you're a lefty, you are holding it high on the barrel and do not choke it up. Don't grip it really tightly. I have a very light grip, a nice loose grip. And if your pen is very stiff, like this side of the brush pen, you don't need to hold it like this and push down harder. You just need to make sure you soften up that end until you can create nice thick down strokes. So I'm gonna flex it out and then I'm gonna push and release and exit. All right, so there you go. Those are your three things you can, three, um, techniques you can work on with your brush lettering. Have some fun and thanks for watching.